Now here are two young guys that, <laughs> man, it's amazing, you know, what's available now to our society. It even surprised them, you know, and these are young people who should know about the new things. I mean, that's why it's hard to get a vision on what is available out there to anybody to do things. Now these 23 year olds, you know, <laughs> I don't know what their job prospects were, but man, in just like two weeks or so, they got $75,000 on the internet for their idea. And their idea that they've been tinkering with, you know, actually in college, <laughs> was how to make things better at home. You know, how to make your own stuff. You know, and like a little factory and things like that. You know, you, people have 3D printers, but it's not that, it's a router. You know, and, and everything's so expensive. So they wanted to come out with something very inexpensive for the home person to use to make stuff out of wood or whatever stuff they want to make at it. You know, and, and it's just wonderful. And this thing just took off like a rocket. So here's 23, you know, two 23 year olds who probably got all their <laughs> student loans almost paid for, you know, just in like a month on the internet. Yeah, I mean, that, that's exciting stuff to me. I mean, I don't know about you, when I went to college, boy, you had to get a normal job or have lots of money to start a business and it, it just would never work. Now, look at two people, you know, that just had <laughs> no money in their pocket and went on the internet and got $70,000 to start their business, yeah. And that's before they even had a product. All they have is a prototype, you know, so you tinker around, make it a prototype, make it looks like, no matter how long it takes you to do it, who cares if there's $70,000 at the end of that rainbow. And even if it doesn't, come out to $70,000. You learn by using that tool today, you know, because this is what's available to every one of us in our society to make things happen for ourselves is using that internet tool and learning how about the opportunities that are in there. They're not going to come to you like government programs. They're not going to come to you and bang you on the head to do it. You know, you got to find it. You know, and you got to work at it to do it. You know, and that's what all this stuff takes is energy. You know, it doesn't take a lot of money anymore. It doesn't take a lot of, you know, who do you know and what kind of buddies you have or whatever. No, it's a system that's open to the world. It's open to you. It's open to me. It's open to anybody who, who figures it out. And it doesn't take a mental genius to do this anymore. If I'm using it, man, anybody can use it. You know, and that's why I start learning this system. Take a look at this interview. Well, Thomas Beckett and Barr Smith, right? And you got the Make Smith CNC. And, and I don't know, you know, geeks probably know what that means. I had to figure it out. And what you guys have is a router, you know, stuff that, you know, carves out wood and all that kind of stuff for 200 bucks. Anybody can have this electronic router router on their desktop and make stuff at home for an incredible price. I mean, you, you were telling me earlier that normally people were selling these things for like four or 5,000 bucks and you're down to 200 bucks. So anybody can start their own business if they have one of these things or, or play around and learn the, the technology of the future because you brought it to us now. <laughs> so how did kids just out of college figure this out? <laughs> Basically, uh, it was just a hobby, and uh, I, I sort of kept wondering if it was possible and kept experimenting with it, and uh, sort of every step would just work, and then I'd be like, well, I wonder if the next step's possible, and um, it just kept working out. And I mean, there were definitely hiccups uh, and, you know, problems that had to be solved, but uh, yeah, it just, it just kind of came together. So the, a rounder, I mean, that's one of those things that carves out wood and all that kind of thing. You, you can make a bunny rabbit out of a piece of wood or whatever it is, or a model airplane, as you guys were showing, or put your name on stuff. But now this, instead of having one of those big things down in your workbench, this would be right on your desktop. You hook it up to your computer, right? And you got the software that makes that sucker run, so you can make a hundred of the same things, right? with just a flick of the switch once you figure it out the first time. The first time takes a little work. Then the 15th one, man, you're in business. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. If, you're, if you're making uh, multiple of the same thing, it's great because you can just make a hundred of something that are exactly the same. Right. Uh, <laughs> and like you said, the first one, uh, you got to set it up. And then after that, you just press the button again. And press the button. So you're going to make uh, all our homes like little Chinese factories, right? We could make a... <laughs> 
But really, to me, what's neat about it, I mean, China, you know, they're good if you want a million or something, but we want a dozen or two dozen, a couple hundred or something. That's why, you know, a product like yours at this price is just phenomenal to the average person or to learn how to use it. That's another thing. I mean, 3D printers, stuff like that, they're, I mean, you're a fraction of the cost of a 3D printer, you know. Right, and it's basically the same kind of thing, but as a rounder. Huh? Yeah, uh, yeah. That, that was our whole goal, was to, to make this technology uh, accessible to more people. Uh, and we felt like the price was a big thing that was preventing a lot of people from getting their hands on one and playing with it. Uh, so it we, prevented Yeah, it, 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 prevented, it prevented me from, from having yeah. one. Uh, so you wanted one of these as a kid, and, and you didn't have the 600 bucks or 1,000 bucks, whatever it costs to do it. And then you thought everybody would know how to do this, and you said it wasn't there, and you just made it yourself, you guys, huh? <laughs> so now, was the fear of having a real job your real motivation, or? or, or <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but Bard, you, you just graduated this month, right? Yeah, I'm actually graduating the end of this month. I have. Oh, the end of month. Oh, wonderful! Oh. You're gonna to go to graduation, or you have to fill these orders now instead. <laughs> I'll, I'll be at graduation. We're gonna. <laughs> and off. Thomas, you you graduated a, a year ago, right? Yeah, a year ago in two weeks. Right, and and you were waiting for Bar to get get out of the cage he was in there at school, huh? So I've been waiting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's amazing. But you guys went on, on crowdfunding on Kickstarter and and, and uh, a few weeks ago you started hoping to get ten thousand and you're already up to sixty thousand dollars. Man, that's gonna pay off all your student loans, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe a, a tiny little chunk of it. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> I understand. But it, more importantly, I mean you're you're making a contribution already you know, and, and barely out of school, which is, is remarkable to me. And, and I, I don't think it would happen without things like crowdfunding or, or without things like, you know, you playing around and, and figuring out that there was, you know, 3D printers already doing something similar. So all this new economy made this possible, it seems, for you guys. Yeah, the, we're completely blown away with how Kickstarter kind of enables with just kind of a, an idea or a dream to like actually hop into it. I mean, we're, we're 23 years old and we're right out of school and we were able to just jump right into something that we were pretty passionate about. Um, and it's just really exciting that you can actually do that now. Um, <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to beg, borrow, steal, you know, 60 grand for your parents. They probably wouldn't give it to you. That's a crazy idea, right? Right. Because <laughs> they probably didn't, would never understand it anyway, right? <laughs> what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, and, and, <laughs> And so the internet gave you this opportunity to start a business, give you real money and, and everything, you know, just to, not even out of school yet for one of you guys. And, and it, it, it's been absolutely incredible just the way the internet has let us talk to people from around the world. Like we, uh, we told them to people in 40 countries. We have 40 like, countries? Oh, yeah, 40, 40 countries have this thing now, right? <laughs> that's, that's just absolutely incredible. Like, it's such a cool feeling to see someone, like, like get an email and be like, hey, how much is shipping to, like, Lebanon? It's like, <laughs> Lebanon! Like, how cool is that? <laughs> well, well, what do your friends think about it? We're still, you know, working uh, normal jobs just out of school or something like that. Uh, th I mean, they're really excited for us yeah. and kind of surprised. They're surprised <laughs> and not surprised. Um, I see. Yeah. Because they knew you had it in you, but it's surprising. It really works. You can go out and do some of yourself. Exactly it Holy is. shit! You know why didn't I do that? <laughs> they can. That's the, that's the really yeah. great thing. Yeah. Now that that's what's so neat. I think about our society nowadays that that it gives an opportunity like that, so you don't have to rely on any of the traditional sources. I mean, get a job, you know, pay off your student loans, get a mortgage. Man, here, look at. I mean, who would have thought you could raise sixty grand and what? two months or a month and a half or whatever it is you're on there. I mean, that, that's just phenomenal to me. Yeah. And, and, and you don't even have your degrees yet. Yeah. <laughs> How about your professors? Uh, mine, I, so I emailed a bunch of my professors kind of letting them know like, Hey, you know, I really enjoyed yeah. some of your business and technology classes and this is what I'm up to. Let yeah. me know what you think. And they they were just so excited to see, <laughs> 
it just applied so quickly right out of, of school. Um, wow. Well, about. that, that ne'er-do-well Thomas is finally doing something. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought he'd amount to anything. <laughs> oh, that's terrific. And so now you have other ideas in your mind, too, because it takes you now. Uh, the campaign's over in about a week or so or two. And then once that's over, you, you got to concentrate on, on filling all those orders, which is a nice thing to, a nice problem to have, isn't it? Yeah. It's a great, it's a great problem. We're, we, we can't wait until we start seeing the cool things that people make with them. Yeah. Like, I'm so excited to just see someone make something awesome and be like, that was that, that, that's, that. yeah. that's going to inspire you to add something new that you never even oh. thought of that would make oh, that. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so your customers now are are going to make you smarter, you know, for the upgrades and the new version and all that. And you know, you, you got a career out of this thing, I'm sure. And it's a delight to talk to you guys. And I'm so glad you're there and showing the rest of us how cool our society really is. And that, you know, you can do the American dream. It's just in different language now. <laughs> and and one, of, one of the things we're most excited about is uh, because it works with digital files, if, uh, if, if one of our customers designs something and another yeah. one likes it, they can just email them the files and they can print it out there. I see. Wonderful. So you, you could share this. I mean, that's the sharing economy is out there now, too. So all your, your customers could share what they designed and they send it you know, to everybody else and they can make it at home. Because a lot yeah, of everybody cheap. wins with this. That's yeah. really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and it's easy to use. You plug it in, you learn the software, put it together, and uh, and then you're making stuff right at home. That's terrific. Well, thank you so much, guys. And, and people go to makesmithcnc.com. M-A-K-E-S-M-I-T-H. CNC.com. Look at that. Look at the video. You guys are the video. Terrific video. It shows you exactly, you know, what this thing is capable of. And that's wonderful to see, even if you don't want to buy them. But for 200 bucks, man, you're into the future. It's, it's like you know, being a Jetson or something like that. <laughs> for such a price. And everybody was selling them for thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, that's Yankee Ingenuity, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for having you. us. I